Suppose you are having thousands of images and videos and you want to manage all of them. You will need a software which will uh, basically let you tag the photographs and uh, videos uh, and uh, maintain some kind of meaningful order and doing that in uh, uh, in your Windows Explorer or Finder um, is kind of complicated because one file can belong to multiple categories so multiple tags needs to be assigned to each of the videos and uh, images so you will need a software which will let you do that and a software which will be stable enough that it can manage the database of thousands and uh, hundreds of thousands of images and videos so so is there a software well there are many options such as adobe uh, bridge uh, digicam is one of them and there are so many others while there are many uh, i'm stuck with digicam which is one of the best softwares out there it is stable and it is free so it is open source software so um, yeah it, it, re it relies heavily on the donations which they uh, receive so just in case you start using it uh, extensively then you can uh, choose to even donate some money to digicam uh, so that their uh, developers are supported and they can do much more active development so having said that we will explore a bit of digicam and then we will see how to download and install uh, and start using the digicam software so starting with uh, starting with the main tags uh, because tags is the beauty of a digicam uh, as you can see there are so many tags and uh, there are tags and then there are parent tag then child tag and then they can be again parent tag so you can classify the images and uh, uh, videos according to the the categories they belong and then subcategories and then subcategories so it makes everything so meaningful and easy to f discover and find which is uh, which is very good when you are managing multiple projects so you can have the project and then project names uh, in the child so it is very amazing uh, way to do that and then you can select the uh, files images or videos and then you can just assign different uh, tags to each of them uh, and uh, it will show you which ones are the tags which are selected so like for example if you click this then you can just uh, click on tags if you will click on here you will see all sort of tags which are there in the system um, and if you click again uh, so this is right now selected so you will see uh, just the tag which is uh, uh, assigned to this particular image so how to download this digicam software well the step is very easy you just have to go to uh, google and search for digicam and uh, you can just click uh, on digicam.org you will be taken to this page um, it says 7.2 uh, rc is released so we'll get to that first of all if you want to download the software you can just go to download and uh, you can download the uh, linux uh, variant or windows variant or mac variant uh, by just clicking on these so if you click on windows uh, you can see a lot of resources from where you can download you can just click on it and it will start downloading maybe yeah it, uh, it has started downloading so installing the software is 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 the common process which uh, you typically do uh, on your windows or mac uh, operating system so it is the straightforward process uh, likewise if you are using mac os then you can just download uh, from any of these mirrors mirrors are basically the servers from where you can download choose the uh, country or the mirror which is nearby to your country so that uh, it uh, the, the the speed is faster in that manner and uh, if you're using big sur so currently the stable version is uh, 7.1 uh, it is not supported uh, by big sur which is mac os big sur so for that you have to uh, go back or you can just click on this 7.2.0 rc so this is the release candidate so this is the most latest one but it's it is the unstable one so you can just try for experimenting purposes but uh, uh, for main use and if you are not using big sur you can just download from here and so it shows you from where you can download the 7.2.0 just in case you are an adventurous soul so here you can just scroll down you will see multiple options uh, so since this is the latest state which you can see so you can download this digicam 7.2.pkg so that is for big sur if you are downloading uh, digicam for big sur 
uh, you can use this one this is working perfectly fine uh, for big Sur. but just in case you are the normal user uh, which is using any of the operating systems you can just download any of these these are the stable ones you just have to install the software and you you will be presented by these uh, options obviously the tags will be uh, not there and you will have to create the tags from scratch uh, we will get to that uh, shortly so yeah uh, this was the light overview of what digicam is uh, what can you do with digicam and how to download the digicam uh, for your system so now that you have downloaded the installer of uh, digicam you can just execute it and uh, you can just read the instructions because it is very much advisable first second screens are useless so just you can ignore them but besides that uh, the rest of the instructions will be very important so you can just choose uh, where you want to install these inst uh, software so after doing that it will start the installation process which will take a few minutes and it's done so you can read that instruction as well and if you want to keep the installer file or you want to remove them choose over there and once that is done you can just run the TGCAM and uh, this is the first uh, dialog of the TGCAM when it starts read the instructions and then you can just move to next and here you can choose uh, where the files would be or where the files are where you have images or the videos which you want to import or access through digicam after doing that or if you want to change the destination you can do that as well and once that is selected just go to next and here you will be looking at where the database of uh, digicam would be kept uh, this is very important because uh, in case uh, it gets lost somewhere digicam won't be able to work and it would be it would need a, an installation uh, so that you can install it again but then you need to remove it completely which is a pain so just be very careful about the database just keep it separate in a separate folder and never access that or change anything and once that is done you can just uh, tweak in a few details over here and uh, once that is done the first window of digicam would appear and but these steps are very important because they ask you very important things like you know how to open the files should those be optimized files or should they be original files which uh, it will show as a preview or where should the database be kept where should the files be saved so these are really important configurations which uh, digicam needs in order to understand your preferences and accordingly it it uh, tweaks in and um, makes that happen so very important steps are here and once that is done you are just ready to witness the world of digicam thanks so much for watching this tutorial if you liked it please subscribe to our youtube channel and if you didn't then leave a comment so that we can improve it further do watch these suggested tutorials to learn even more and do let us know what you want to learn on being skilled